Hey guys, today we have a 2016 GMC Sierra 2500. And we're going to do a test fit of the Thule Square Bar Crossbar Roof Rack System. Now this roof rack system is going to allow you to get any accessories like a bike rack, a kayak carrier, or even a roof basket up on your roof so you can get those accessories on your roof rather than taking up space inside the bed of your truck or even in the cab. Now this roof rack system is made up of a couple of different components. Up top we're going to have our 60 inch square bar crossbars. Now what's different about these crossbars from their old square bars is that rather than having a foot pack that wraps around the top of our square bar to secure it to our roof, we actually do have a channel just like their aero bars where we can just slide our Evo clamp feet through there. So it's also going to work, these clamp feet are going to work with our wing bars as well. The square bars are going to be a little bit more noisy up on our roof, as with anything that's on our, they're going to be mounted to your roof. But sometimes just having that more rugged look is just going to be a nicer look for your truck. Now below, kind of the middleman is going to be our Evo clamp feet. This is what's in, in this channel of our square bar and what's securing it to the fit kit. We'll take off our end cap. We can take a look inside. We see it's got the bracket holding our custom fit hook in place. We have the tightening bolt on the inside right there that's going to secure it to our roof. And then that brings me to down here. We have our custom fit kit for our Sierra 2500. We have the rubber coated hook that's inside our door frame. And we also have this thick rubber pad that's sitting between the clamp feet and our roof. And both of those rubber coatings and rubber pad is going to help prevent any type of scratches or abrasions from occurring. Now what's different about this hook, how it secures, is that instead of just sitting right under the door frame, it's actually going to be molded to the inside right here, and we're actually gonna have to pull down our weather stripping to get it to hook inside. So that's gonna be a bit more secure than just the standard clamp-on style where it comes right under that first lip. And when I put my end cap back on, you're gonna see that we do have these plastic locks. They can be replaced with Thule lock cores, which are sold separately here at each other. You can get those lock cores to give your roof rack more security. Now I'm going to give you guys a few measurements. First, we're going to go from the top of our roof to the bottom of our square bar. That's going to be two and three quarters of an inch. So that's more than enough space to get any clamp on accessories, any strap on accessories under your crossbar without risking damaging the paint job on top of your roof. And also if your Sierra does have a sunroof, that's more than enough space for that sunroof to be, op to be operational without interfering with the square bars. Now from the top of our roof to the top of our square bar, it's going to be three and five eighths inches. Now that's important to keep in mind for any low clearance situations because you've added that much to your roof. Now like I said, with a square bar system, you are going to have a bit more wind noise and drag, but there is a way around it. You can purchase a Thule air screen fairing, which sits on the front of your front crossbar. That's basically just going to deflect the wind over your roof rack system, improve your wind noise and drag, keep those to a minimum. And also the weight limit for this roof rack system is going to be 220 pounds. So it's a bit of a step up compared to a lot of other roof rack systems. So you're going to be able to get a heavier load up there, but be sure to double check with your Sierra's owner's manual to make sure your roof can handle that weight. Now that we've gone over some of those features, I'll show you how to assemble your crossbar and get it installed. Now the front and the rear are going to assemble the exact same way and going to tighten down the same way. So we'll show you how to finish assembling the rear one. We already have our front one installed. We're going to flip our square bar over. Now we're going to put together our fit kit. We're going to grab our Evo clamp feet. We're going to take our pad from our fit kit. We're going to push it on there so it clamps down. You want to make sure you go all the way around it. Just make sure it's really on there tight. Just make sure to kind of give it a couple of little tugs like that. It's on there. Now we're going to grab the hook that's custom fit for the frame of our truck. We're just going to push up until we hear a click. There we go. Again, give it a couple of tugs, make sure it's in there tight. Now per our instructions, we need to set it at a certain number, which is going to be 58 and a half on this scale. You can see the they're engraved onto the coating. So how we're going to get this on is all we're going to do is push in on these two little silver buttons right there. And that's going to unlock the channel mount. Once we do that, we can just slide it in and we're going to go up to 58 and a half. We'll make sure the edge of it is at 58 and a half. And once we let go of those buttons, it's going to lock into place. So I can't move it at all. Now from here, we'll put our end cap on and we're ready to throw it on our roof. Now when you have both of your back doors open, we're just going to step up onto our running board. Be careful not to hit the roof rack on the roof of your truck. And we're just going to set it in place. Now from here, we're going to grab a tape measure and we're going to measure our crossbar spread to make sure it's even on both sides. 
we're going to go from the front of our back crossbar to the front of our front crossbar. It's important to make sure it's even to make sure your square bars are parallel and that's going to help make sure that any accessory you put up there is going to be mounted and secured properly. Now there is a measurement in your instructions. You want to make sure you measure it to that exactly on both sides. So we got one side, we'll go over, measure the other side real quick. Once you have it even on both sides, you're ready to go ahead and start tightening it down. Now in order for our clamps to be secured properly, we need to peel back the weather stripping just a little bit. We need it enough to where that hook can get under the stripping and onto the frame of the truck. Once we have that, we'll just push up on it. Now for demonstration purposes, we're not going to install this foam bumper stop, but you do want to make sure you do this when you're permanently installing this on your truck. It's going to sit right in between the rubber coated hook and the frame of our truck on the second notch from the bottom. It just sits right there. It has an adhesive backing. You just peel that little yellow backing off and then it sticks right there just to help provide a more secure clamp down. Now from here, we'll just start tightening down. And we're just going to go until it's snug and then we'll repeat this for the other side. Now when you have both sides snug, what we're going to do is start to tighten it down just a few rotations at a time. We're going to rotate back and forth between the two clamps to make sure that it's not pulling more on one side. Now we've already gone through this process. We're on our last step right here. It's already pretty tight. Once you hear that audible click, you're going to know that it's tight enough to what TUI has in their specifications for how tight it should be. We've already done this on the other side. So we're just gonna put on our end cap. And now we're ready to load up our favorite TUI accessories and hit the road. Now with all that being said, that's gonna do it for our test fit of the TUI square bar crossbar roof rack system on our 2016 GMC Sierra 2500.